Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, but my good friends call me Christy Yamaguchi. Okay, I want you two to shake hands. Harder. Harder. There are your screws. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because the couple that clips together stays together. And so it begins. Right off the top, to era is human. Hey, what's going on? The Paleozoic Era, the Cenozoic Era, the Mesa. Players 1 and 2. The Cenozoic Era is what's been going on geologically for the last 65 million years. Ah, uh, same crap, different epoch. Take a good look at... Menage a Tub. You know that nursery rhyme, rub-a-dub-dub? -dub? What the hell are those three men doing in a tub anyway? Sounds like some sort of strange Cialis commercial. Suppose the three men in a tub are floating along in the ocean when they hit a giant iceberg. If their survival rate is the same as the people on the Titanic, who will survive? The butcher, the but- Player two, you're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Nuh-uh, Kate Winslet survived. Player one, your screw worked out. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player one. On the Titanic, about 1,500 people died and just over 700 people survived. So roughly one in three people survived, like the butcher. Just his luck. The butcher survives and all he has to eat is fish. May I introduce a profound tweet. Because he famously penned the line, brevity is the soul of wit, which author would probably be a fan of Twitter? At Oscar underscore wild E, at Yogi Berra 8, players 1 and 2. Shakespeare wrote, brevity is the soul of wit for Polonius during the second act of Hamlet. Or as Hamlet is called in tweet speak, Ham. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. How about getting shot with a t-shirt gun? If the mascot for the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team would he taunt with vicious finger snaps? The Houston Rockets, the New York Jets, the LA Clippers, or the player two? The Jets are the rivals to the Sharks in West Side Story. So while it would be weird for a hockey mascot to taunt a football mascot, you can't always predict hate. But for the sake of innocent civilians, hopefully the mindless violence wouldn't escalate to drive-by dancings. Player one, you just clipped yourself. But you know it can clip yourself and a significant other? A tandem toenail clipper, just like the one you won from Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because you can't spell cuticle without cute. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Why not try... Close the door, I'm undressing! And hey, it's a dis or dat. Player two? Since your score stinks so bad, this one is all yours. I'm gonna read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me whether it's the name of a brand of ranch salad dressing or the name of a legal brothel in Nevada. If it's a ranch dressing, press your X button. If it's a Nevada brothel, press your B button. For each one you get right, I'll be pouring on 300 big ones. Get one wrong and I'll strip you of 300. Player one, select your answer before player two because if you get it right and player two gets it wrong, you get that cash. And since you don't seem to be wearing a watch, here, the quicker you answer, the more cash you get in your end. Uh, the end. Alrighty then, here it comes. Hidden Valley Cherry Patch Moonlight Puppets Wishbone Rats Chicken Rats Annie's Nap Marie's Crooks Sweet Juicy Tomatoes That was awesome!
And of course, this goes for both of these categories. If you smell blue cheese, ask for a refund immediately. We've finished round one. And player one is ahead, but for how long? Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. It's time. Open wide for... Show me the Mooney! About how long was Neil Armstrong's historic walk on the moon? As long as it takes to moon someone out your car window. As long as Michael Jackson's moon... Players one and two? Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon was about two and a half hours long, so if you include previews and credits, yeah, it's about that. That is unless you believe the moon landing was also just a cleverly made movie. Here's one I like to call Comfy in Nautica. How many Snuggies would a giant squid need in order to accommodate all of its appendages? Four Snuggies, five Snuggies, players one and two? All squids have eight arms plus two longer tentacles. So with two arm holes each, a squid would need five Snuggies. Of course, I only have two arms, but I have five Snuggies just for variety. Lockin' chickens pickin' out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Coming up, Arch, your arch enemy. It's the book of choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Okay, it's an order question, which means I'm giving out a thousand dollar bonus to anybody who gets it right. So, put these things in chronological order based on when they first appeared. The St. Louis Arch, the McDonald's Golden Arches, the Archie Comics. Archie Golden Arches Arch, Ar players one and two. Archie was introduced in 1941, the McDonald's Arches in 1962, and the St. Louis Arch was completed in 1965. You each just earned yourselves an extra thousand bucks for that one. And after reading the scathing book on American fast food production, Fast Food Nation, I'll never be able to pick up another Archie comic book because I realized I hate to read. And on its way, drill baby drill. So with all these ecological disasters happening around the world, you'd think folks would be ready to embrace alternative forms of energy. Not so. Which protest sign would you see Don Quixote carrying at an anti-environment rally? Wind turbines can blow me? Players one and two? In Cervantes' novel, Don Quixote thinks windmills are evil, ferocious giants. I think Don Quixote watches too much Fox News. Hold me, never let me go. Here's one for you. It's snowing dogs and dogs. Suppose American Idol's Randy Jackson judged an Iditarod competition. If he were judging a team with the maximum allowable number of dogs, what would he say? Yo, you six dogs a killer! Check it, you eight dogs nailed it! You twelve dogs were hot tonight! Or, listen, you sixteen dogs were dope! Players one and two? A musher is allowed to have up to sixteen dogs in the Iditarod. At this point, they might as well just add a team of dogs to American Idol's contestant list. Like our intern Kyle here, who auditioned last season. Hey Kyle! Sing something! If I know that I can find love Step right up. Ah, I see you don't need me for anything. It's all yours. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. Please take off your headgear when you go indoors. Good luck.
takes it. Great work, player one. You are like some beautifully toned racehorse moving ever forward with one ultimate goal in mind. Player two, you are the steaming pile that gets left behind. But don't feel bad, cuz... You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Well, now's the time when you should alert me of any intentions to continue. 